Thank you. I'll be right back. Sam, you haven't said a word all evening. Is something bothering you? Penny, I, I don't know how to tell you this. We've known each other for a long time now, and I never knew we'd be this close. But I have to tell you, I've lied to you. I'm not really the Prince of Ecuador. What? Sam, you said... I know what I said. I was young, you were beautiful. I knew you had a thing for Ecuadorian princes. I had to have you, so I lied. Can you ever forgive me? Of course. It does come as a shock, but I could never, never leave you for such a petty and silly reason as finding out you're not the Prince of Ecuador. Thank you, Penny. I'm so lucky to have a girl who cares about me so much that she doesn't mind that I'm not really the Prince of Ecuador, or that I don't really own those three major oil companies. What? Sam, you... I know. I'm sorry. I knew how fond you were of petroleum products. I couldn't help it. It's, it's all right, Sam. It's you I want, not some oily Ecuadorian. Really? Good. That's good. And you won't be hurt by my final confession. Oh, no, Sam. No! Please don't say it. I have to say it, Penny. I'm not really a pygmy. No, Sam, no! I'm sorry. I didn't know we'd be this close. There, I... there, little one. You should be ashamed of yourself deceiving this poor girl like that. Penny, my name is Martin. You don't know me, but I've had my eye on you for weeks. I'd just like to say that, well, I may not be the Prince of Ecuador. I may not be the owner of three major oil companies. And I may not even be a pygmy. But there is one thing I have to offer you that Sam here could never give you. I, and this may not count for much, but I am the owner of the largest clam in captivity. I love big bivalve mollusks. I know. I've got Vincent Van Gogh's ear in a box back at the house. Really?